believe that I was ever married to you. That I raised children with you. I've been standing here thinking to myself, he snapped. He doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't know what he's done. But the more I think about it, you know exactly what you've done. We've been through a lot together, Tony, and I could forgive you for a lot of things, but no. You're really gonna stand there and defend Carly when you know what kind of nightmare she's gonna be as a mother? No, Tony, you are the nightmare. Well, you were so busy saving Michael from his parents, didn't you stop for one minute to think about your own son? How do you suppose Lucas is going to feel when he finds out his perfect father, the man he's loved all his life, has been arrested for kidnapping a baby? How do you suppose Lucas is going to feel when he finds out you cared about him so much you were going to leave him behind? I thought about taking him. Oh, shut up! I don't want to hear another word out of you, okay? I hope they throw the book at you and you rot in jail for the rest of your life. Well, I'd say it's a pretty safe bet that Dr. Jones will be old and gray before he gets out of jail. See, kidnapping is a very serious offense in this state. So is aiming a shotgun at the father of the child you kidnapped and threatening to kill him. You were going to shoot Jason? That's how he broke his hand. I was trying to stop him from taking Michael. I was never going to pull the trigger. Tony, my God. You knew what we were going through when Michael was missing. You've lost your own child. And you were going to kill our son? I can't believe I ever called you a friend. Come on, Monica, let's get out of here before we do something we're both sorry for. Bobby, come on, let's take you home. Please. I can't stand the sight of him for another minute. You know, I was thinking about what you said, trying to arrest Jason. That would be something, wouldn't it? You and Jason in prison together. <laughs> Ooh, gives me chivers. Relationship. Look, I'm not asking you to neglect her. I'm just saying don't tell the truth until we find out who's trying to kill me. Robert needs me. Not me pretending to be somebody else. Does that mean you're dropping the case? I'm a pro. I took the job. I'll finish it. So are we on or are we off? Business as usual. Why don't we go and grab some dinner? Oh. Well... I really want to be here in case she wakes up. If my memory serves correctly. It's your birthday tomorrow. At least let me take oh. you out to dinner and give you your present. Yeah. Well, having Robin back is the best present I could have ever gotten. I, I really want to stay here until I know for sure that she's okay. Okay. If you change your mind, I would like you to be my date to the uh, gala to celebrate the dock renovation this Friday. Okay, we'll see how she goes by Friday. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. Is Jason here? Oh, he took Michael home. I'm so sleepy. Don't fight it. I'll be here when you wake up. It's almost spring. The snow melted while you were gone. And in a few weeks, the trees will be green, and the next thing you know, it's going to be some... Oh, it's okay. It's okay. And in the summertime, you, me, and Carl, you're going to go to the lake. And you know what? Maybe I'll take you in the water. You see?
see, it's kind of it's kind of like taking a bath, only better because there's water everywhere and you can float on your back and look up at the sky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you don't know how to float yet, but it doesn't matter because I'll hold you. And you won't be afraid because I won't let anything happen to you ever again. You're safe, Michael. And no one's ever going to take you from me and call me again. Welcome home.